we are literally one week away from the Hoonigan update. So right. we'll have some fresh content, I, th I believe, to play. Obviously, this is like their big first big like content update. So, you know, there's going to be some like bug fixes and changes and and all kinds of different things. And they just put out a, uh, an article today uh, detailing some of those changes. They didn't talk about content, though. It was it was literally just like quality of life stuff. But yeah, the quality of life improvements. I think was yeah that's the name of the article so i don't know if you guys saw that today but it was um <clears throat> i think we go over it because there is a lot of good stuff in there i don't know about you but my general impression of this article is that they're like we hear you and we're working on it but it doesn't mm -hmm. it the article didn't it didn't like throw the bangers at you like we're fixing this and we're fixing this and we're fixing this no it was just like we're aware of this and we're working on it. That's kind of how it was. It was like, we have a long-term approach with the game. So we're trying to fix it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Which well, is the things that they, they did come out with a few things that they did fix, like stating exactly what it is that they fixed. And I think that they're all really good things. Oh, for sure. I mean, starting with, uh, <clears throat> the, what they call the replayers, which are the ghost cars. Mm -hmm. They basically said, uh, we heard you loud and clear. We're going to give you the ability to toggle replayers, also known as ghost cars, on or off in season two. Yeah, that is huge. It's huge, dude. And that's and that is, from what I understand, that's the free roam ghost cars. Yeah, it's the uh, the free roam cars, the ones that you've had a problem with since the game came out. Dude, I I <laughs> <laughs> I can't, dude. I can't with those cars. It just confuses traffic when you're doing anything, and so um i'm super happy that they were that they turned that off or they they give you the ability to turn it on or off which is nice i think that's a, a huge w there makes just driving around the map and stuff a lot nicer also do they fix the uh the cara cara assist when she just doesn't stop yapping oh yeah you have the, yeah, yeah. You, have the, you have the ability to just turn turn the guidance off where she's talking hey go over here and do this yeah uh, turn off the playlist introductions and just any of the extra voice lines like which i think is huge for um because what you had to do before that was go in and turn off there was just like one volume slider for it right you just mute like all of it right now you but have like a little bit of like uh you know a little bit more choice you can you can switch off certain things which is nice mm -hmm. i yeah. definitely like that that's a that's a w for sure and oh my god this might be the biggest w of them all yeah, they are allowing us to switch full sets of parts between cars. You can just take the entire set of parts from one car and slap it onto another car instead of having to do one part one at a time. Absolute W. I don't know why this wasn't in the game at the beginning. It should have been. It's in the Crew 2 currently, and it took them years to add it to the Crew 2. But they've got it here with this first update, and that is awesome. Very awesome. Yeah, so it's something they needed. Yeah, and, I just uh, wish they would take it one step further. Like, okay, now we can switch full sets of parts, but I want a, I want like an inventory management system. I want to have like um, the ability to, I don't know if you remember this, this app, but it, there was that app that we used on Destiny where you could create loadouts mm -hmm. essentially, right? Specific gear yeah. sets, and you could just swap the whole gear set onto your character. I want to be able to do that with the cars no matter where that gear set is or that those cars are th sorry those um those parts are no matter what car it's on i just want to be able to go in and be like nitrochemist set boom and it just switches all my nitrochemist parts onto that car yeah it's gonna be yeah, awesome. i want to be able to i want to be able to tag the sets anyway i'll accept this uh very small step but it but a big step actually they have completely reworked uh what they call the reward flow meaning at the end of the race you've got the the way that the rewards are presented to you they've changed that so now they're listing things vertically and then they put all of the parts sort of at the bottom so it'll give you like a tally like here's your xp that you gained here's your money that you gained here's your um um what is it your called? Bonuses. Your bonuses. And then at the bottom, it'll give you um, a, a display of all the parts that you earned for that event. Yeah. 
I don't know what they're yeah. gonna do with uh, things like Groundworks, where we get like 28 parts with Loot Digger. Because 28 parts <laughs> is not gonna fit in that little space, but <laughs> we will see, we'll, I guess. You'll we'll have to figure it out. I don't know, but I like that change. I think it's nice. It gets the um, the ending, you know, faster because before you're just spamming A, trying to skip through everything. Yes. Yes. So now it'll just kind of display everything at once. That's nice. Yep. Do you remember reporting a livery and uh, having it just disappear? <laughs> yes. Yeah. If you were to <laughs> report a livery, it just disappears instantly. Yeah. One report and it's gone. Yep. We had people uh, in some of the summit streams and stuff talk about how their liveries got taken away because somebody reported it and it just is gone too. So. Yep. Which is but, super unfortunate for the custom show, right? I mean, let's say you put, yeah. a, put a dope livery on your custom show car and someone goes in and reports your livery. And then all of a sudden your custom car is no longer custom. But they're fixing so, that apparently. It says they changed the rules and moderation to create a fair system. As an example, we have reviewed the criteria for liveries to be deleted. We're also going to be bringing a confirmation pop-up to players in the livery menu to avoid accidental reporting. That's smart. So it's more than yeah. one button. And they said they'll release more uh, changes in the patch notes. Gotcha. When it goes live. Gotcha. And the next thing they addressed is the macros slash cheating. And to be honest, they did not fix one single thing earlier. I mean, they say in this that we've, they say we've already addressed some of the issues with the latest update on October 25th. That is not true. They did not. Now, maybe, maybe on the back end, if they're looking at the statistics, there are less people using macros, maybe. But that's maybe due to the fact that those people already used it and got all the money and all the cars and everything they wanted and they didn't need to do it a second month in a row so that's maybe right. that's the reason but they did not what they did made it more difficult for regular people to um to grind right. for parts and they made it the same for the people who want to grind using the macros for xp it's just ridiculous um, they need to figure this out. I don't I don't know what they're gonna do, but this says in season two We will be adding extra modifications Linked to rewind and accessibility options. We're also working on long-term changes to Better control the experience to avoid activities that can be too repetitive, but al also allow to gain experience and bucks in the long run um, And they want to improve the global experience of these activities for all players to create a more balanced one now I'm all for creating a more balanced experience but you but they can't just put measures in place that allow that make it so you can't rewind because yeah. yes it was cheesy to go through an escape and rewind and do the escape again and rewind but if people are literally willing to sit at their desk or their couch or wherever they are and hold their controller and rewind and do the same thing for hours on end just so they can get the parts just so they can play your game you kind of have to not mess with that because they're actually physically doing it now the issue is how do you detect a, ma a macro like isn't just a macro just keystrokes like you can't how do you detect that i have no idea i have no, yeah, idea. no idea it's it's way above my pay grade anyways they did not i just wanted to say that they did not address <laughs> the issues they just made it harder for us regular players to grind yeah <sighs> that rubs me the wrong way anyways Moving on. <laughs> then they uh, they went on to mention that they have tech limitations allowing cross play on free roam. So as we know, it's more like cross play, like matchmaking. Yeah. Like you can't have your friends on, you know, PC and Xbox in the same party, but you can play like grand races with people on every platform. So this is, that's due to tech limitations. And for the time being, they're not looking to add this feature in free ride. So there will not be actual cross play in the game. <laughs> yeah. So that was basically just a. I just it, came out and said it. Like, we're <laughs> not going to be adding cross play to this not game. doing that. And they're blaming it on tech limitations. So basically, I feel like that's code for um, we decided to support PS4 and Xbox One. And because of that, we can't offer cross play. That's honestly what yeah. it seems like to me. Yeah, I think so. It's frustrating. It's frustrating because you, you're you you're holding back a game that should be in the current century. <laughs> like we are, 
crossplay is so widespread now. I mean, it, it didn't used to be, but mm -hmm. as of the last, I would say three years ish or three years plus, like almost all multiplayer ish games are using that as a selling feature for their games. It is what it is. We're not getting crossplay, guys. We're getting cross match made, cross match made PvP. That's what we got. Yep. And it's sticking that way. They're not changing it. They're not changing it. Let's talk about long-term progression of the game. Um, oh, yes. It yes. says, while we love long-term progression in our game, we don't want to make it too long for our players. We've looked at the data, and we've decided to make some minor changes to the loot experience in Season 2. So what they're saying is they're actually going to be shortening it and probably handing out legendaries a little bit more. Uh, more often yeah. <clears throat> but these changes won't be the only ones and we intend to apply updates to the system to have a more balanced experience for the next seasons to come for more details on these changes please check the, plat the patch notes when they come out next week so they're basically just saying we understand that the grind is a little bit too long i think they're going to make a change for season two uh at least that's what it says and then i think they're going to continue to monitor it that's what that's what they're saying to me they're just going to keep watching it right yeah i think so so i mean that's good because if they do end up giving you more uh more legendary parts it's going to be nice Definitely. they want it to be long term but they don't want it to be too long mm, exactly nice i like that yeah i'm fine with then that they they even uh they address the traffic and summit feats which is huge let's see they said we believe that the experience of our game is linked to its live aspect and traffic is a part of it, even if it can bring uh, unpredictability. While the changes coming to replayer cars or ghost cars in free ride aren't aimed at modifying the experience and feats, it will help tune down the perception of traffic. Okay, never mind. It's not huge. There's just saying, deal with it. <laughs> There's traffic and feats in the summit. Deal with it. That's what they said. Dude, is this not exactly <laughs> what I just said last night on the stream? Someone asked about traffic and the feats, and I said, there's no way they're getting rid of it. But no. they did. What they did say though is they went back and said, "Hey, we we are allowing you to get rid of the ghost cars, so that the traffic that you do have is much more um, visible. Like if you get if you turn the ghost cars off, then it's clear which cars you're supposed to avoid, and that and thus that should make you a little bit a little bit easier to do the feats. But <laughs> they basically raised the middle finger, like, "Nah, dude, we designed it this way. It's part of the environment. You got to figure it out." <laughs> yeah they're like yep just deal with it dude can i if i'm being honest and i was probably gonna make some people mad because everybody's been crying about traffic and feats i like it that way i'm okay with it yes the traffic sucks sometimes but that's the whole point like there's like it's like a i don't know it's like is it even difficult to win mario if you don't have to face the fire that comes out of bowser's mouth at the end like it's part <laughs> of the design of the level right it's part of the design like it, that's just the way it's supposed to be man there's traffic it's it, it wouldn't be a challenge to escape this red circle if you just had to drive on roads like that's not yeah. a challenge the traffic is it, part of it i agree it is annoying but um i would i don't want them to get rid of it but maybe just tune it down a tiny bit because it gets to the point it seems like it spawns in like proximity <clears throat> yes. so the longer you're in the area the more people or the more traffic is going to be there yes so by the time you you know you're retrying it like you missed a you missed a checkpoint or something so you retry it and then your next run it's like every freaking checkpoint you're trying <laughs> to swerve around there's a car right yes. next to it so that kind of sucks the worst one but, though but is... I, I do agree that the traffic's good yeah the worst one is the slaloms the slaloms are by far the worst the escapes are fine yeah you can kind of figure it out and get around them and you know even if you bump a traffic car it's not like that it's not unless it like completely crashes you which sometimes it does it's not the biggest deal right you can kind of like bounce off a traffic car keep going it's not not a big deal you can still get a, a decent score but the slaloms the slaloms are so bad dude because the, they're on like like two lane roads you know one lane this way one lane this way and then you have traffic going both ways and you're like how am i supposed to go on that side of the flag i have to go all the way into the dirt in order to get on this it doesn't make sense so in that way the traffic sucks i will agree yeah. there well i'm gonna contradict myself a little bit there and say that that that, that traffic does suck but that traffic aside does from suck. that it's like yeah 
it is what it is pvp <laughs> regarding pvp today we're focusing on improving the quality of the existing experience before adding new layers to it that is code for we're not going to be adding any new pvp stuff we're only going to be working on the grand races and i guess demolition because that's technically a pvp mode um yeah and that means don't count on new pvp for the next two updates I'm telling you right now you're not going to get we're not getting anything in season two or three pvp wise uh for the yeah. grand race they're going to be adding new paths in season two as well as an anti-afk mode which we <laughs> we just talked about dude i don't know how many people are actually afk or if they <laughs> yeah. just paused imagine on playstation <laughs> imagine just being in the game like on ps4 oh, like no. getting ready to go not getting a countdown sitting at the line and then getting kicked <laughs> you just get kicked out dude like, you can't even play that'd be hilarious <laughs> Um, and we'd like to go further in our next seasons. We can't wait for you all to jump into season two uh, on December 6th. In the meantime, patch notes will be available for you next week, along with the content overview article to go over everything coming your way. So basically, they're just saying, uh, don't get excited. We're just adding new paths to um, to the grand races. That's it. Yeah, they are saying they're focusing on improving the quality of the existing experience. So hopefully that means, you know, they're going to figure out something to make the grand races more enjoyable or, uh, you know, the quality of it, whether that's fixing a little bit of net code, maybe doing something about like a little bit of ghosting or something here and there. You I know? mean, I feel like ghosting at the first the first 10 to 15 seconds will be great. Yeah. Or if they can figure out something like um, like Forza, like a crash ghost. Oh, dude, if they could figure that out, you know, they do that in Forza, like if you crash into the wall you're ghosted so the rest yes. of the cars don't i think that that's more important than the um than at the, the beginning the, of the race the, than at the beginning yeah yeah if somebody's dive bombing walls why do i gotta die <laughs> exactly <laughs> exactly but yeah i don't know i guess we'll have to wait and see new new paths is, uh paths is gonna be nice though uh schmuck world says what about players disappearing online and crews lagging out all the time it's still happening even after they quote unquote fixed it they haven't said anything <clears throat> in this article. I am looking forward to all the patch notes. I am also looking forward to sort of testing some of this stuff this next week just to uh, mm -hmm. see what's going on. You know, I think the bottom line is now we, I feel like we've been a little critical on this article today. I, I certainly have. And it's because I want them to fix everything right now because I'm a spoiled child. <laughs> right. I want it all yeah. right now. I want you to fix all of it and add all of the content in the whole world. Uh, anyway, no, I, I, f I do feel like in general, the, what they're saying with this article is that they definitely hear all of the complaints. They hear all the feedback and they are working on all of it. And I think because some of their team is still working on the crew two stuff, I think it's going to take them a lot longer to implement a lot of these changes it's the reason why they're not adding new pvp modes they're just going to work on the existing one you know it's the reason they're like you know we're not going to change traffic and feeds like it's it is part of the game we don't need to change it it's uh it's the reason they're saying we're not going to do crossplay. they're just like we're not yeah. there's technical limitations we're not doing it there's a lot of that in this article but i think in general they're like we're we're working on stuff i don't know i like this stuff that they mentioned though like their main highlighted things yes. like the ghost the ghost cars being able to toggle them yep toggle car on and off that's great yep. the freaking part switching part swapping amazing. is great that's so good and they they're making it easier to get legendaries so that's awesome too. easier to get legendaries that is huge that's huge i just can't i mean i feel like it, it, they almost owe us a little bit because they're expecting us to get a full set of drag parts with only two drag races in the entire game that's also true so i'm not sure how Although, hold on i have a huge idea that just popped in my head when you mentioned drag racing there might be more drag racing with the hoonigan update because hoonigan had a whole series on their youtube channel of hoonigan versus the world and it was you're in the hoonicorn and you're drag racing they yeah. were drag racing everything f1 cars yeah. race cars other drag cars yep so that could be a possibility. We might be getting more drag events. This is true.